Hi again, and thanks for tuning in for another episode of Math with Mullins. Today we're going to be looking at Lesson 6.6, .6, which is Discounts and Markups. Today we're going to be looking for seven things in our notes to write down, so let's go ahead and get started. The first two things we're going to write down are the basic vocabulary terms of a discount and a markup. A discount is basically when you decrease the original price of an item, and a markup is when they increase um, a price of an item to make a profit in the store. Okay, so go ahead and take the time now to pause the video. Once you're done, click play so we can try a few questions. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to find a sale price. So this one talks about these shorts over here. They're originally $35 and we're trying to find the sale price. There's a few ways that you can do this. You can do the percent proportion or the equation. Whenever you're finding a sale price, it might be easier to use the equation, but I'm going to show you both ways. To do the percent proportion, we would have x out of 35, which 35 is the whole price, is equal to 25% out of 100. We would cross multiply, so we would get 100x, and then type into our calculator 35 times 25, that gives us 875, then we divide by 100, and x is equal to 8.75. Um, that is going to be the price of the discount. The, the sale price, what you'd have to do is take the $35 and subtract the $8.75. So if we did that, we're going to get $26.25. Okay, That's one way you can do it. The other way you can do it is through the percent equation. Um, we know that we're missing the is, so we're solving for is. So x is equal to 0.25 times 35, which is the of. This might be a little bit easier because when you do 0.25 times 35, you get your $8.75. This is called your discount. And then the, so what you'd have to do to find your sale price is just take your total price and subtract $8.75 from it. And that still gives you the 26.25, but you might see that it's easier to find the sale price using this way because it doesn't take a lot of work to do on your paper or the calculator. The next one you're going to try, so let's go ahead and take time now to pause and try number three in your notes. If you're solving it the same way, you can either use the percent proportion or the percent equation, whatever you see fit. Okay, for this one, I'm going to do the percent equation. So I'm going to say x is equal to... 0.20 times 50, so 50 is my total price, and I'm multiplying by 20% or 0.20, and I get 10. And then I'm going to take my original price of the skateboard and subtract 10 since it's a discount, and I'm going to get $40. Okay, whether you solved it with a percent proportion or equation, you should still get the same thing. Notice that the percent equation takes a little bit less work to do here and the percent proportion just takes a little bit more work to fill up, but it's still the same concept, so you just have to choose what's best for you. The next one we're going to try is finding percent of a discount and markup. You're actually going to try this one and work it out with me as we go. It says a pair of jeans are originally $75 and they're now on sale for $45, so what is the percent of the discount? Again, um, if we don't know the percent, you can use the percent equation or the percent proportion. I like to think of this though as percent increase or percent decrease. Um, and we just learned that in the previous lesson. So remember we would take the original and subtract by the new amount and then divide by the original. So that's essentially what we're doing here. We're figuring out how much, um, how many dollars they decreased it by. So 75 minus 45 gives you $30. And that's $30 out of the $75 original price, so I'd just be dividing by 75, and you get this decimal 0 0.4, and that's going to translate to 40% off. Okay? You can always check to see if you got that right by using the percent equation. Um, so if you did 75 times 0.40, That gives you $30, and 75 minus 30 does give you the 45 that they're saying it's on sale. So that's just one way you could check it as well. So answer right here is 40% off. 
Okay. The next one you're going to try on your own. You're going to pause the video. It says a gold necklace is originally $250 and it's now on sale for $175. What is the percent of the discount? Go ahead and try it. Once you're done trying, click play. All right, so what we're going to do first is find the percent decrease. So I'm going to do 250 minus 175 divided by 250. So 250 minus 175 is 75. So I got 75 over 250, meaning divided by, and I get 0.3, which is equal to 30%. Again, if you want to, you could check it. Just finding 30% of 250. So 30% of 250 is $75. And 250 minus 75 does give you the $175 that it's on sale for. So good job. The last part of our notes is finding a selling price. This is a little bit different. This is when we talked about markups in that first slide on number one, where we talked about a markup is a way that um, stores increase their price to get a profit or to gain a profit. If they sold everything at the exact same price that they bought things from the manufacturer, there'd be no way that they could make a profit. So this is how stores make a profit. A store pays $70 to get a bicycle and the percent of the markup is 20%. So what is the selling price? You're essentially doing the same thing that you started off doing to find a discount, except instead of subtracting the money, the money amount that you get from this, you're actually going to add it back. So you're going to find out the market price and then find the selling price by adding. Okay. An easy way to do this again, you could just use the percent um, equation. So I'm going to do 20% of $70. So 20% times 70 or 0.20 times 70. And that gives me 14. So that means 14 is the markup. So to find the selling price, I would take 70 and add 14 to it to get 84. This is called, this would be what you're going to selling, be selling it at, to the selling price. Okay, so it's very similar to discounts. The only difference is instead of subtracting at the very end, you're going to be adding it back to it. Markups could also, um, not another word for it, but you would use this same method to find tax. If you're trying to calculate tax on something, you could also use the same method if you're going to try to find tip, like if you're at a restaurant and you want to tip, tip your server. Okay, this one you're going to try on your own. You're going to try one, this one and one more. So let's go ahead and pause the video, find the markup and the selling price, and then click play. All right, so $15 is what the baseball cap is. So we're going to find 60% of that 15, so basically 0 0.60 times 15, and we got 9, so that's the markup. To find the selling price, we would just do 9 added back to the 15, and we should get, oopsies, 9 plus 15 is 24. So 24 would be what I sell it at. Okay, how'd you do? Here's one more for you to try. Again, it says they're selling the store, they're selling the, bought the aquarium for 75 bucks, but they want to mark it up 20%. Go ahead and find the selling price. Once you're done, click play. Here we go. X is equal to 0.20 times 75. So 0.20 times 75 gives us 15. So that's going to be the markup. And then once again, to find the selling price, I'm going to take how much they bought the aquarium for and add that $15 profit to get $90 selling price. Okay, that is going to conclude our notes for today. Just make sure you have seven things written down in your notes. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.